Haley Sunny and <laughs> what's up? Hey comfortable, baby. Does it ever cross your mind? Hey guys, it's Haley Sunny and today we're gonna be filming an everyday makeup tutorial. How I beat my face, semi beat it, cause you know, it's just very like neutral. This is basically what I put on my face every time I do my makeup. I have a few giveaways going on, on my Instagram, so make sure you follow me on there to stay tuned. If you're not already, make sure you click subscribe. It's right over there with a little, I mean, I guess there's supposed to be a little bell next to it. You should click it so you can get a notification every time I upload, which is every single Saturday with a surprise video, sometimes thrown in during the week every now and then. Without further ado, let's. Let's go ahead and get started. Do I look like an elf when I put my hair back? I hope not. I'm gonna be moisturizing my face. This is the Coconut Water Cream by First Aid Beauty. Like coconut water, it's really, really refreshing and cooling. You don't want cakey skin, so make sure your skin is nice, moisturized, and soft. Next up, I'm gonna be priming my skin. This is the Benefit Professional. I never got to like actually try this until they sent it to me a couple days ago, but like a week ago. And it's crazy how much better my makeup looks when I use this versus when I don't. So sometimes I just like to throw in the extra step and use this before I apply anything else on. I was at the nail salon today and something so like crazy that makes me so angry and like shocked at the same time happened and I literally didn't know how to react and now that like it's over with and I'm home I have so many like things that I like feel like I should have done in that moment so I'm gonna tell you guys that little story in a minute so when I'm doing my everyday makeup I usually skip foundation just because I don't really like the feeling of having that on my skin throughout the day and also because I don't really feel like I need it which is a blessing but I do like to use concealer because as you can see I have quite the dark circles These are the born this way concealers by Too Faced So first I get a little bit of a darker shade which is warm medium which is exactly my skin tone And I like to apply a good amount of that under my eyes just like making a little triangle And I like to apply a little bit of this concealer which is in the shade light Just like its name it's a little bit lighter so I feel like it gives a nice like brightening effect and I like to apply just a little bit of that over it. Grabbing my beauty blender, which is a little bit damp, I just start bringing it down to my face. Anyways, what happened at the nail salon? So I was just there sitting, waiting for my nails to dry, and this lady walks in, and like the minute she walks in, she brought this bad energy, and I don't like really say that about a lot of people, but like, I don't know, that's just what I felt. And she sits down, she's on the phone, like very obnoxiously, like talking so loud that literally every single person in the nail salon could hear her like conversation. She's like talking to this person, probably like someone she's like flirting with. Cause she's like, I just bought this St. Laurent bag. And I'm like, honey, it's not even how you say it. It's St. Laurent. Like I'm going to be using some setting powder to set what we just did. This is the born this way setting powder and you just, shake it up a little. I feel like this is such a good setting powder because it's not heavy at all. This is super light on your skin, so like I said, it doesn't make it look really cakey. Just a very natural look. The nail lady obviously knew she was on the phone, but she like had to get her job done. So she was like, do you want your nails to be like square or circle? And this lady ignores her and on the phone continues to speak to her friend. And then she starts saying, the people at this nail salon are so rude and annoying like I had to tell them to be quiet because I'm on the phone and then she gets off the phone and she's like you're so rude I don't know who gave you this job but like can't you see I'm on the phone and the lady's literally like okay like how can someone be that rude having a bad day isn't even an excuse for like making someone feel that way I don't know it just like was very shocking to me I'm gonna be contouring with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Recently, I've been using a little bit more of like a bigger brush because I don't know, I feel like it makes your contour look a little bit more natural and it also gives a bronze glow to like the rest of your face kind of. This bronzer smells so good. Like I literally wanna lick my face after. Anyways, just try to be nice to people. I actually got my eyebrows done today because I knew I was gonna film this and didn't want my eyebrows to look so messy because that's how they were before. I'm gonna be experimenting with a few new products. So this is a conditioning brow primer. It looks like this, super interesting. Apparently it makes your brows look more full and like 
primes them for when you do them. Let's see if it's actually gonna do what it's supposed to. Recently, I've been using brow pencils. I switch off between like different types of brow products. Sometimes I will use like gel, but this smells like brownies and I love it. I wanna eat my eyebrows after. I just like to draw a thin line under my brow to begin with and then kind of just like do light strokes in the inside. A few strokes upwards towards like the start of my brow. It's so much easier to do your brows after you get them done. Like, and repeat. This is my favorite step, blend. I feel like blending just makes everything look better. Just more natural. You don't want like brow pencil lines across your eye. This is just some colored brow gel, and I just like to apply in the middle of my brows because that's where it tends to get more sparse, and it gives this like really youthful look. Makes your eyebrows look a little bit more full. Another product that I wanted to experiment with, this is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. So it's like a clear brow gel that's supposed to keep your eyebrows in place for 24 hours. Girl. I need to comb my eyebrows like every hour or else they start looking crazy. So if you can keep your promise, you will be my life savior till the end of time. Oh my God, I can already feel my eyebrows like setting and like drying. Kind of a weird sensation. <laughs> Next, I'm grabbing this matte highlighter pencil by Morphe and I just like to draw a line under my brows. It just highlights my brow bone, but at the same time makes my brows look very clean cut. I've been loving blush. I used to skip blush all the time just because I didn't like it. But now I dig a like natural color blush on my cheeks. It just makes me look happy. I mean, I am happy, so it enhances my contentment. This is in the shade Baby Love. It's by Too Faced. I use a lot of Too Faced makeup. Smile. If you're not a big blush person, like natural blushes like this one just like adds a little bit warmth to your face without looking very intense. I've never tried this highlighter. It's Dandelion Twinkle by Benefit. It looks very pretty in the box. Let's see if it can look that pretty on my face. Ooh, yes. When highlighter looks too blinding, I feel like it's not a look. It doesn't look natural. It looks like you tried way too hard. You're not even like glowing anymore. You're hurting people's eyesides, you know? A little bit under the brow. When it's really subtle, but still noticeable, that's the perfect touch. You guys know me, I'm not a very big eyeshadow person, especially for everyday makeup, but what I've been doing recently is kind of defining my crease with a fluffy blending brush. This is the Just Peachy Mattes palette. I'm gonna be using that color, which is in the shade Peach Tea. I always drink the Lipton Peach Teas that come in like cans and whatever. It's so good, like, America, you are lacking. So, just blending that. And then you can bring it down to your lid just a little. This is a little orangey too, but I feel like it looks pretty, especially since I have green eyes. I don't know, it brings out the green, I guess. You can also bring it down to your lower lash line. Curl my lashes, girl! Wait, I can't multitask, I can't talk and curl my lashes. I feel like I'm gonna rip them off. I know I use this mascara in every video, but it's just my favorite. I don't think I can ever like a mascara more than I like this one. It's the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. Quite proud of myself for not making the ugliest faces while applying this mascara. And don't forget the lower lash line. This is my absolute favorite lip product just because it's so easy to use. It's literally a tinted lip balm by Glossier, but this is my favorite like lip color ever. It's in the cherry color and it's just like my natural lip color except a little bit more enhancing. So nothing too crazy. It doesn't even look like I have any color on my lips. And at the same time, it's super glowy. I wish I could get like lip injections for like two days just to see how it look. And then I finish everything off with the Hangover Setting Spray. I've tried out multiple setting sprays. Some of them literally just melt your makeup off. This, however, I feel like just makes it look better without even doing anything. Like it's just a spray, but I just feel like it makes it look more glowy. Shake well. 
Is that six inches? I don't know. I don't I don't work in inches, I'm foreign. And this is the finished makeup look. This is literally what I wear if I wear makeup every single day. I've kind of come to realize that I don't really like doing anything else but this. I feel like this is the only look that like even looks good on me. Unless I'm like getting my makeup done by like a makeup artist. I'm a fan of the more natural look. Anything that's a little bit more than this just makes me want to take my makeup off. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have any other requests like Haley, I need you to do this video. Let me know in the comments so I can film them for you. Like always, I'm going to make sure I list all the products I used in the down bar. Also, subscribe. I love you guys so much. All the way to Pluto and back. Bye.